Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Alice Thomas Roberts. Today I want to talk on the topic of business attire and the professional look. Let me first see. Consider that you should dress the part. Think that how you dress would either impress your customer or your clients or it would turn your customers off and of course what you want to do is to impress your customers if your company has a dress code then wear it with pride if the company doesn't have a dress code then there are some things that you can consider for instance, consider the business environment, consider the type of business, and choose your attire to suit. Choose attire that would make the customer or the client see that you mean business. Then consider the fit of your clothes. Believe it or not, the conservative look is still the professional look. Clothes that are too tight, too short, show too much skin or too much cleavage are not appropriate for work because they present too much distraction. And when we think of business attire, we should also think of jewelry. Appropriate jewelry or accessories for work should be gold or silver. And if you must wear costume jewelry, keep it to a minimum. Gold, perhaps a simple one ring per, per hand. And make sure that your earrings, ladies, are not too large. Neither are they making noise as you move. You want to just minimize the distraction so that the focus can be on the service, the quality of the service you provide, or the products that you provide. Now, let's talk specifically to the men. Men, when you choose clothes for work, shirts, let's start with the shirts. When you choose shirts for work, make sure they are solid color shirts, meaning one color, or perhaps uh, if they are stripes, then pinstripes. The various colors, multicolor shirts are not suitable for business, the business professional. Today we're focusing on the business professional and you want to make sure that the, the, the colors that you wear are not distracting again from the business at hand. And the professional look also stipulates that the tie should be at the tip of your belt and that your, your belt should match your shoes and your socks should match your pants. If someone coming into your business see you dressed with your belt reaching in the, the your, your belt matching your shoes, as soon as they see that, they say, oh, that guy knows how to dress. If, if they see that your socks doesn't match your pants, they think he doesn't know how to dress for business or work. Depending on the type of work, you want to make sure that you look professional, dress the part. And before I turn away from the men, let me just add that shoes for professional work must have laces. Shoes that are slip-ons, moccasins, or uh, some people call them boat shoes that you just slip your feet in, they're not for professional work. If you have clients you're going to visit or you're going to be having a business meeting or business luncheon, be sure that the shoes you wear are shoes with laces because you want to impress your clients. Okay? And ladies, when it comes to shoes, whole shoes are still the most appropriate for the professional look. Also acceptable are shoes with the toes out or shoes with the heels out. But 
not vote. And then there are some employers who would perhaps stipulate that uh, the, the height of heel that you should wear, they may say you should wear nothing lower than two inches. Let's not be mad at our employers because they stipulate how high your shoe heel should be. You know, we need to think that uh, our employer is, is portraying a brand and this brand is, is not just in the type of work that, that we give or the way we speak to the customers, but also in the way it's in, in the way that the, the, the employees present themselves. I hope this information was helpful to you. If you like this video, please like, share, comment. Thanks for viewing. For more videos on personal and professional etiquette, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to get instant notification whenever I post a video. You may also visit my website protocolcaribbean.com.